heat returning after we had some pretty powerful storms yesterday. Take a look at some of the tornadoes. The first one reported was yesterday afternoon. This was I was actually out there with the storm survey team in Seymour where we did have one confirmed tornado looking at the path. It was pretty narrow, but it did damage uh, several homes, uh, structures and also some trees as well. EF1. Then we had our second reported tornado. There was another survey team out in Washera County in West Bloomfield. They had EF1 tornado as well. Well, and later in the evening hours yesterday, the storm survey team up in northern Marinette County came back and they reported an additional tornado in Silvercliff, and that was estimated on radar at 634 when that strong line of thunderstorms was lifting up to the northeast. The rating on this storm has yet to be determined, but I was seeing photos where the trees were just completely snapped everywhere in that whole town. So wouldn't be surprised if it was at least an EF1 tornado, if maybe not an EF2. So the strongest uh, tornado so far that have been reported, EF1 between 86 to 110 miles per hour. We'll have more detail as we get later on into the coming days. So far, 12 tornadoes reported across the entire state. That does include the three tornadoes in northeast Wisconsin that we did see on Wednesday. As for the time being, we've got quiet weather today. We have a secondary cold from moving down south from Canada. That is going to bring in cooler weather for tomorrow. High temperatures in the upper 60s to the lower 70s. It's going to be a cooler, crisp type of break after some of the hot and humid weather. And I'm sure folks who still don't have any power right now will be welcoming these temperatures because they won't be having to, you know, bake with another hot summer day. The downside is that we have the heat and humidity returning once again as you get into next week. So Skycast keeping us sunny all day long and then tonight we will cool off with clear skies once again. On Saturday, we will start off with sunny weather and then as we get into Sunday, there is going to be some type of disturbance that moves in and could spark off a few showers and thunderstorms in parts of our area as a warm front boundary lifts northward and that's the precursor of those 80 or 90 degree temperatures. 62 outside, we've got a wind out of the west at 7 miles per hour. Our sunset is at 840 today. We've got upper 50s in the far north woods as well as in Aconto, Ephraim, but even Appleton at 57. The rest of us are in the lower 60s with winds coming in out of the west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So for today, we will get up into the upper 70s and lower 80s. We'll have that breeze out of the northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour, gust near 25. For tonight, we'll drop down into the lower 50s with north winds at 5 miles per hour. For tomorrow, getting up into the mid 70s, some areas north of Highway 29 could be right around that 70 degree mark with a lighter wind out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour and lakeside areas will likely be in the upper 60s. 77 for your Father's Day. We will have a chance of a few showers and storms and then the heat and humidity returning pretty strongly. Highs back up into the 90s on Monday and Tuesday with a slight chance of some thunderstorms down into the 80s afterwards. At least the good news right now, Caroline, we're not expecting any organized severe weather on those days, but something uh, to certainly keep in mind. It. Definitely keep in mind, Gino. Thanks so much.